This week, we are traveling to Cleveland, Ohio to attend Sheer Elite International Dance Competition. The group routine is entitled Stone Faced. You will be wearing stones all over your face. One dancer will reveal their face through the routine. But that one dancer is the person that is hiding their true identity. Hannah, that will be you. Hey, are you so excited? Yeah? So you have to lead in the group? Like, high five to that, right? Mm -hmm. So when you start on the group, you need to remember things you can do, right? Mm -hmm. The beam turn, right? No. Yes. The beam turn is really cool. No. It is really cool. OK, I'll stop. I believe in you. Do you believe in you? Are you sure? Yes. OK. It is a lot of pressure to have the lead in the group because if anything goes wrong, then it's probably going to be blamed on me because I'm the lead. Like, if we don't win, it's going to be my fault. And I'm just scared that it's going to go wrong. This piece is about covering your true identity. You are just a sweet, nice kid. I've come to know your mother a little bit better over the past few weeks, and I cannot imagine living in that house with that mother. She is on your back constantly. Hannah, don't do this. Hannah, do this. Hannah, I told you. T Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Ah, ah, ah. And yet you just smile and you're sweet and nice. We need to see something else besides sweet and kind and boring. Get it? Yes. Let's get started here. So the group dance is a reference to like wearing a mask and not really knowing who someone is. I don't know what she thinks that Hannah really is. I feel like we don't know who Hannah really is because Anne always tries to talk for her. She tries to answer. She tries to control the situation. I mean, we have never been on the bus where you didn't tell her to get her backpack when we're getting off. Like, you do speak for her a lot. You tell her what to do. You tell her how to say things. Well, I am her mom. Right. Right. But she's 14, and hopefully some of those things that she would know by now, like get your bag when you stand up and walk I'm off I'm sure she knows that. You yell, you scream to, for her to get her bag every single time we get off the bus. Right now, I feel like you guys don't even want her on the team. And you're making about Hannah, and nobody said anything okay, about well, Hannah. OK, but you want me sitting up here? Maybe you don't. I think that's just more avoidance, actually. No, it's not. I'm just trying to tell you how I feel, which has nothing to do with you, but you want to turn it around and make it have to do with you. Walking and driving are go all for avoidance. It. Go for it. I don't know why everybody's coming at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, please don't. I want to go home right now. She's freaking out because now people are seeing her for who she is. But who is she? She's control freak. She's controlling. She's manipulative because she uses crying Come on, you guys are just seeing it today because I saw it like the first day that I arrived here. First of all, Stacy, I am not manipulative. I think so. I won't even say anything. I'll sit here and I'm not gonna say anything. You can do whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. You can be mean. You can pick on me. You can do whatever, but. So you're not leaving now. Now you change your mind, you're staying. You're just gonna not say anything. So it doesn't even make any sense. Whatever. I don't know what's wrong with the moms. I'm not trying to speak for her. I'm just helping her. Lay flat, Hannah, and go like flick, flick. Keep your knees together, though. Knees together. Knees together. Knees together. I've said knees together like 10 times, Hannah. It's not the way to be the lead in the group. I need Hannah to be a rock star, and she is a rock. I need somebody at 14 years of age to be a role model, to be a leader, to be brilliant on stage. Abby, how's it going in there? The group looks like crap right now because the lead kid is not feeling it. And it's like pulling teeth to get her to even just do the choreography, let alone emote. Let's go. Anne should be more than concerned this week. Her kid is the lead in the group. She's not selling it. We have a 6-4 record for the groups. And as of right now, this group dance is a mess. A hot mess. This is the last time we're running the group routine before we leave for Cleveland. The group cannot afford to lose again. This team has the worst record in the history of the ALDC. Watch the posture when you're rolling around on the floor. I've entrusted this lead to Hannah. And if she doesn't pull out a win for us tomorrow, I think Hannah Banana might need to split. How about Brady's mom? How'd she do with the stoning? First time she's stoned. It's the first? You think that last night was the first time your mother was stoned? No. Well, no. It was. No. It was. No. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Like, put 
rhinestones on Akash. It was? First time? I think. Can Hannah see with that mask? She says yes. I can't really move my mouth in this mask and it stings. And I'm seeing like sparkles, but other than that, it's great. I'd be nervous about the mask. I mean, yes, of course, we have not practiced the mask. Like, we don't practice a lot of things, and that is very nerve-wracking. We might have not practiced ripping off Hannah's mask, but we practiced ripping off yours. You know what, Abby? This is a really important week, and we really need a win. Do you really think it was a good idea to make Hannah the lead in this dance? Well, I think I need to teach her a lesson. She is 14 years old. She can open her mouth. She can speak for herself. She can ask questions and still remain a respectful young lady. I have been working with Hannah to open her mouth and speak since she was like five. Well, it's not working. Yes, she's always been quiet. She's quiet because you speak for her. This routine is called stoned face. She is wearing the stoned face because every time I look at her, she has a look on her face like she's scared to death of her mother. I give you a character to do and you do it kind of sort of a little bit, but you never take it beyond my wildest imagination of what I think it should be, yes? Not everybody is gonna care as much about you as I do. And at 14, the clock is ticking. I know you think that's crazy for me to say it, but not when a 10-year-old is dancing circles around you. All I'm saying is right now, blank and get off the clock. You can fill in the words because you're 14. All right, let's go. I think it's going to be good. The dance? Oh, gosh, yes. It better win because I can't handle it if it doesn't. Let's welcome entry number 84, Stonefields. Everybody looked great, and it's gonna hopefully win. It's time for the awards. Like, 